Hi guys, it's April and you know what? Easter is right around the corner. But before we get to Easter, here's the so-and-so show. What do you deserve? It's easy to expect certain things, to think that you've earned some rights. Maybe you think you deserve to play your game with no interruptions, or to stay at the front of the line since you got there first. Maybe you think you deserve to eat food you really like at dinner every day, or to get brand new shoes every time your old ones get a little worn. <laughs> Maybe you even think that since you're older, you deserve to go to bed late. <laughs> After all, every single ad you see on a screen or billboard or magazine screams, you deserve it. But when Jesus walked this earth, he showed us a different way. Over and over, Jesus laid down what he wanted for the sake of someone else. His time, his energy, his life. Every day, we have amazing opportunities to follow Jesus by putting others first. You can show your little sister she's important by setting aside your game to help her practice reading. You can put another kid first by letting them go ahead of you in line. You can put your mom first by not grumbling when she serves her favorite meal. And you could keep wearing your old shoes and give the money to a place that provides clothes for kids in need. And you can put your whole family first by going to bed on time so that you're not super grouchy in the morning. Jesus lived out every moment of his life putting others first. His love for us goes on and never ends. So you can say thank you to God by giving up what you think you deserve. When you put others first that way, others can see God at work in you. That's why humility is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. by you forever I'm your friend you'll always be right here with me I'm so thankful for your love no matter what I do I know this is true you're by my side you'll never leave I want to thank you God for showing me who I am you're so good you help me to understand we are your sons and daughters
sent your son to set us free for your love and kindness i will see you sent your son to set us free Okay, it looks like we're all set. Here is the water that you wanted. Uh-huh. Good job. Yeah. What's that? Want some music? Okay. Hmm? Oh, you want a bedtime story too, huh? Okay, well, just one, all right? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a little seed that wanted to grow big and strong. That one day, a bird came along and... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm gardening. That's a flower in a bed. It's a flower bed. <laughs> Brandon doesn't know much about gardening, does he? <laughs> what, what's that? Oh, you want a little more water? Okay. Uh-huh. Just streak that up. Good job. Good job. Uh-huh. Oh, we've got a leak. Hello, all you crazy so and so out there. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is The, the so, -and -so, so and So Show. Show, which I'm sure you gathered already because I called you so and so and there was an intro package and we had the title and now I'm rambling. John, why the computer? Uh, oh, oh, I uh, started a little project in the neighborhood. Really? Do tell. It's a community garden. Oh, I've always wanted to do that! Yeah. What's a community garden? Can you remind me? Oh, uh, it's a garden that everyone in the community yeah. can use to grow flowers and oh. fruits and vegetables and stuff. And, Ooh, stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we can do that to share all that stuff with each other. And I'm about to find out what everyone's job assignment is. Okay, very cool. Yeah, but just uh, because I'm in charge doesn't mean I get to choose the job I want. I made mm -hmm. sure the assignments are totally random. Oh, that's very big of you. Well, thank you. Yeah, very much. okay. So when do we find out which job that we get? Uh, You've got something in your digital <laughs> inbox. How about now? <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, Brandon. You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. What job did I get? Once a week, mm -hmm. you will be a waterer. Waterer? Yeah. I'm the waterer? <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm the water <laughs> What's a waterer? You water plants. Oh! That's still cool. Huh. <laughs> How about you? What job did you get? John? John, are you okay? No! What? What? What happened? You fainted and passed out. I thought you were all wet. 
That's how long you've been out. What? Yeah. Oh. 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 You know, all I can remember is opening up my computer and looking at my email. Yeah? What happened? Same thing. What? Yeah. You mean I opened my computer and I looked at my email? <gasps> no! no, 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 we're not doing this again. Okay. All right, what is going on? Oh. <sighs> okay, it says you got the job as fertilizer guy. What's so bad with that? Read. We will use all organic fertilizer. Organic fertilizer? Yeah. Manure? Oh. Cow patties? Uh-huh. <laughs> Dodo. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a little yucky, but it's what will help everyone else's plants grow. Whoa, you can't seriously be telling me I have to do this. Well, you said you wanted it to be random. No, 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 I, I, I started this thing. Why do I have to do this job? It's gross. Okay, calm down. I, I'm sure we can get you some special gear and gloves and stuff to wear to do it. Why couldn't I be the waterer? I, 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 I would be a good waterer. I like water. But I'm the No way! As head of this project, I refuse! You just refuse? Yes! Okay. Okay, listen. If you aren't willing to serve your community by spreading fertilizer... Doo-doo. Sure. <laughs> then I will swap jobs with you. Wait, what? what? Really? Yeah, I guess. Wait. I'm the waterer? Sure. Yes! A job for a leader! <gasps> I'm the water! <laughs> Happy? Yes. It's Bible story time with Kellen! <sighs> Hey, you two, what's up? Oh, not much. How about you, Kellen? Hey, why are you wet? Oh, Brandon just did something nice for me. Ah. Hey, you got a story for us? Yeah. I, I do. Then take it away. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> well, today I have an amazing story about Jesus that I'd like to share. It gives us one of the most powerful examples of who Jesus is. But first... Some backstory. For years, God's people had been waiting for a savior that God had promised, a Messiah, a king. When Jesus showed up performing miracles, the word got around that he was that promised king. So when Jesus came riding into Jerusalem on a day that we now call Palm Sunday, the people shouted out, Hosanna, and honored Jesus like he was king. But unlike most kings who want to come across all powerful and mighty, Jesus came to Jerusalem riding on the back of a donkey, a little clue to the kind of king Jesus intended to be. And that's where our story picks up today. And here to help tell it are the kids from... Kids Perspective! Jesus and his disciples had gathered together to take part in the Jewish tradition of Passover. It was a meal they would eat together to remember how God freed them from slavery hundreds of years earlier. Peter, pass me some of those bitter herbs, please. Here you go. Thank you. Can I have some too, Peter? Of course. Thank you, Peter. Of course. Now, when people would enter another person's house for a meal, a servant would often greet them. Coming! There were no doorbells back then, by the way. Ah, oh, so glad you can make it. Come in! Thank you for having me. Serve it! Yes, sir. Please prepare a guest for the feast. One of the duties of the house servant was to do something we're not familiar with. 
clean the guest's feet. Oh my. Here goes. Gross. I mean, back then, people's feet would get dirty from sweat, dirt, and well, sometimes organic fertilizer. Needless to say, cleaning someone's feet was not something anyone rich or powerful would do. But when Jesus and his disciples had gathered together for the Passover feast, Jesus did something shocking. Uh, Peter, what's Jesus doing? I don't know. Looks like he's about to start cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, Peter, say something. Lord, are, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't realize now what I am doing, but later on you will understand. But Lord, you'll never wash my feet. And Jesus responded, unless I wash you, you can't share life with me. Then Lord, wash all of me. Jesus told Peter that he was going to wash his feet. And then Jesus washed every disciple's feet in the room. A king got on the ground and washed their dirty, stinky feet. Afterwards, Jesus said, do you understand what I have done for you? You call me Lord, and you're right. That is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet. So you also should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. Now, we don't know for sure how the disciples reacted when Jesus did this, but I bet it was something like... Whoa! The end. Give it up for our kids' spective performers. Every time I hear this story, it blows my mind. Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, washed his disciples' feet. He had all the rights and all the power in heaven to demand that his disciples wash his feet. But he didn't. Instead, he showed his disciples that true leadership is humbly serving those around you, no matter who you are. That is an amazing story. Yeah, yeah, really uh, gets me thinking. <laughs> hey, glad I could help. Uh, thanks. See ya. So I got you thinking, huh? Yeah, I mean, Kellen's right. That story is mind-blowing. Jesus chose to serve his own followers hmm. and then told them to do the same? That, that, that is so upside down. I know what you mean. Nowadays, it seems like people in charge want to be served rather than serve. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I can do something about that. I, I, I'm gonna let you be the waterer and I'll take the fertilizing job. You don't back. have to do that. No, 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 no. I want to lead by example and it's, it's the job I was given, so. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and get prepared while you ask the question. Oh, right. Oh, you want me to do the thing by myself? Okay. Uh, reveal the question! When has someone put you first? Well, once when I was sick, my next door neighbor came over and mowed my lawn for me before he mowed his. Huh. I mean, that's a great example. Yeah. Uh, one time in school when I was younger, uh, somebody let me cut ahead of them in the lunch line so I could get the last piece of pizza. Oh, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not very humble when it comes to pizza. Yeah, but <laughs> you are when it comes to gardening. Well, I'm trying to be. You like my gardening outfit? It <laughs> has Matt suit. You know. Oh, and, and uh, clothespin. Okay. For all the fertilizer. <laughs> all right, well, that is, that's one way to do, do it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Do do it. Thank you. I did. Okay, that's all the time we have today. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was that's the So and So show. show. You sound way different. Uh, that's the price of power. <laughs> all right, one more little song to go to sleep. Simple, simple little flower. You'll grow as tall as a tower 
With your roots that run so deep, birds will fly and shout a peep. Simple, simple little flower, one day you'll grow as tall as a So true leadership is humbly serving those around you, no matter who you are. So Jesus put others first. And so the question that they ask at the end there is, when has someone put you first? You know, I remember my parents always putting me first and and thinking of me first and wanting me to... Um, get something first or things like that. It was, it was just the way of my, of parents to do that. And I bet you your parents do that for you too. So think about that and we'll talk about that in class. Talk to you guys later. Bye.